The state's prosecution team has completed its investigation into the assault case of the former protectors of Deputy President Paul Mashadile. The eight VIP protection unit officers are charged with several counts of assault with intention to cause grievous bodily harm, damage to property, and the pointing of a firearm. Now, this relates to an incident in July when they were filmed assaulting off-duty soldiers on the side of the N1 highway in Johannesburg. The men made a brief appearance at the Randberg Magistrate's Court today where for the first time since this case started, they appeared without face covering masks. The magistrate had previously allowed the men to wear masks since an identity parade had not been conducted. However, the parade was done last month, which meant there was no reason for the officers to hide their identities. Now, this case takes place a day after a witness in a separate police brutality case was gunned down just outside this court. Gauteng NPA spokesperson Pindim Jonundwan says the state does provide protection to witnesses who feel that their lives may be in danger. Well, we do take um, the safety of witnesses very seriously as the NPA. Hence, we've got a unit um, called Witness Protection. And um, we can only act once information is brought to our attention as the prosecution. Then an assessment of the threat is done. And also remember that um, it is also a voluntary process whereby the people that we seek to protect must also um, agree to that process of being uh, taken into witness protection. In court affidavits submitted to court, all of the eight men said they intend on pleading not guilty. Trial has been set down for the 6th of May next year. Tabiso Koba, Eyewitness News at the Randberg Magistrate Court.